This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Today I have come up with a very simple, uh, important topic. Not that important, but it's really good to know that you, you can execute your test cases with different network bandwidth on Google Chrome. It means, let's see, sometimes we have to do some network or bandwidth testing for your application where we have to execute our test cases with different bandwidths like 5 MB or network is there or bandwidth is there. Your download speed or upload speed is around 5 MB. Your download speed around 10 Mbps or 20 Mbps or 1 Gbps or something like this. Or maybe the, okay, without any bandwidth speed also you can do it. So this is something very interesting. I found it on uh, through uh, Chrome Dev Tools and I tried to implement a couple of things and then I found it. This is something really good. You guys can also implement it. So I'm not going to write the code first time in front of you guys because this code is a little complex to explain. So what exactly I'll show you what exactly I have done. So I have just created one data provider, uh, two dimension object array like this. You can see that this is a very simple uh, test in data provider. And uh, the first parameter is I have written 5000 like this. So 5000 kilobyte I have written, okay. Uh, KB. So if you see, let's see 5000 uh, KB to MB. So it's around 5 Mbps. Okay. So this is 5000 Kbps means 5 Mbps speed is there. So this is the first parameter is for download speed and this is for upload speed, right? In internet. So we have a uh, download speed as well as, uh, you know, upload speed. Same thing for uh, this 15,000, 10,000, 20,000, something like this. And then I have written 00 also. 00, I'll tell you what. And I've written my logic over here that I'm just launching my Google Chrome and like this. Uh, and uh, I'm just checking that, okay, if your download speed is greater than 0 Mbps or upload speed is also greater than 0 Mbps, then there is a one command is there, get <clears throat> command executor. It's coming from Selenium only and it will return you command executor, okay, reference over there. So this with this executor, we can execute whatever the settings that you want to do that. So before that, I have created one hash map. Okay. Uh, in this particular hash map, I have added four different keys. These keys are available on uh, uh, on uh, you know Chrome options are available and uh, dev, uh, Chrome Dev Tools are available where these options are already available. You can set the latency, you can set the download throughput, you can uh, set the upload throughput also. Like this is your download speed and uh, this is your upload uh, throughput speed. You can check it on, on Google site as well. And uh, Google settings also, Google Chrome settings also, you guys can define these configurations. And uh, through automation, through programmatically also, you guys can do it. So I've just created one hash map, that's it. So these are the four parameters you have to set. Offline, no, we have to be online. So offline is false, we have to be online. Latency is around five. Download throughput, I have written, this is my download speed, whatever the download speed through data provider I'm passing. And upload throughput also, whatever the upload speed that I'm providing. And then we have one method that is executor.execute method. So the executor.execute method, if you see this method is also available, already available in Selenium. And uh, this method is saying that, okay, what exactly the command that you want to pass. So I'm just creating the object of command class. And here we have to pass session ID. You can see that the session ID, I can get it from my driver. So this particular driver I have already, okay, I have to typecast into remote web driver. Then only it will work guys. Because on directly on driver, this command get command executor is not available. And then we have to get the session ID. And then whatever the second parameter is that we have to pass as a string that what is your string name? So string name we have to pass set network conditions. Okay, remember the string name. And uh, then we have to pass what exactly your map object. So this map object I'm passing like this, whatever the map object that I have created. So I'm just converting immutable map of network conditions. And uh, this is just the key. And this is the map object, okay? Immutable map dot copy of map object I'm passing over here. That's it. So you don't need to remember the code. Nobody is gonna ask you these kind of code at a time of interview, but this is something really interesting. You guys can implement in your framework as well. Whenever you have to do some uh, network related testing that you can uh, set the network download speed and upload speed for your, uh, you know, for your application. And then easily you guys can, okay, easily you guys can uh, launch your application with a different network settings. Okay, programmatically like this. 
So, and then I'm launching my NEFs website, let's see facebook.com and then finally driver.quit. Now you see that, okay, one by one, first this particular data set will be picked according to the data providers. And I have written that, okay, at the rate test data provider is equal to network bandwidth. And this is a name that I have given network bandwidth. And uh, first time five MB, five MB. It means, uh, yeah, 5000 KB means around five MB. Yeah. So 5 MB your download speed and 5 MB your upload speed will be given. Same thing for next set of data, 10,000, then 15,000 like this. And then I've written one condition. If it is zero, zero, then don't come inside the if part, don't put any condition, any network condition, you directly execute your normal facebook.com. And then you will see that uh, when I set 5 MB, it means 5 MB upload speed and download speed, right? then it will give you how, how much time this particular test case work it took to execute. So we will see that obviously it will take more time as compared to this particular bandwidth, right? So the time will automatically, I mean time will eventually will be decreased with every upload speed and download speed. So when we pass zero zero without any network, okay, condition, it means whatever the default condition that you are having on your internet, the same exact default condition will be used. So obviously the time taken with this condition for uh, zero zero condition for your test case, it will be very less as compared to 5,000, 5,000. Okay, so we will see the results. It will take some time to execute the results, guys. So, but let's run it and let's see what exactly is happening. So first time, it will be executed for 5,000, 5,000 means 5 MB, 5 MB. And let's see what exactly uh, you see and you observe the result. See, now, right now my current network setting, 5 MB, 5 MB. It's very less, 5 MBPS, nothing, right, in these days. So that's why it's taking a lot of time. See, Facebook, it's still launching. It's taking some time to launch. So let it execute. Okay, so see, so a couple of uh, network bandwidths I'll show you. And then I'll stop the recording because it will take a lot of time, guys, because around uh, seven to eight data sets are available. Around, yeah, around three plus three, around 10 data sets are available. So it will take some time. So I'll stop the recording after, uh, you know, one or two download and upload speeds. And then I'll show you the complete result also. So see, it's still five Mbps is very less. So we can check our application with five Mbps, how exactly it is uh, responding. Okay, your application is working fine with low net, uh, low latency or high latency or high network speed or a uh, low download speed or high upload speed. These kind of configuration, we can pass it over there. So see the facebook.com is still launching it's okay so see now the finally facebook is visible but page is still okay page is still loading so once the page loaded loading is completed then only it will close the browser because we have written driver.quit at line number 61 right so let it execute with 5 mb is uh very less so that's why it's taking a lot of time guys because we have given a lot of uh, you know, very less download and upload speed. So I know it's time taking, but sometimes we have to do such kind of testing as well. Okay, so through Selenium it is possible. Yes, we can do that. I haven't tried for uh, Firefox. I need to check with Firefox or other browsers, but for Google Chrome, these uh, options are available. So that's why if you find it for Firefox also, you guys can easily do it for Firefox as well. I'm pretty much sure that okay, with Firefox also, you guys can do it. So see the page is still loading. So once the page loading is completed, then only, okay, it will close the browser. So let's wait. So I'm not going to disturb this and let's see what happens. See, this is still loading. So after this, uh, I'll, okay, let it execute all the data set and then I'll show you what exactly, how much time it will take. So this is still loading. This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. So now the first test case got executed. The second one is for 10,000 and upload is speed around 7,000. So it's a little better than as compared to 5,000 and 5,000. And then uh, let's see, see it's still uh, loading with 10,000 and 7,000.
This conference will now be recorded. Okay, now this is the third one for 15,000 and 9,000. You can see at line number 28. This is the third test for uh, 15,000 with 9,000. It's a little faster than as compared to 10,000 and 7,000. So let's see. Okay, so I'll show you at the end, I'll show you all the results, how much time for every uh, test data set it took. And then accordingly, we can compare the results, we can compare the latency and everything. Okay. So I'm just uh, quickly execute all, all the data set and then I'll show you the final result. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so now I have the results with me, guys. Now you can see the results. You can compare your results over here. That uh, uh, for first test with 5,000, 5,000, it took around 92.732 seconds, 92 seconds. Okay, it means more than one minute. And then for 10,000, 7,000, this is your download speed and upload speed, it took around 43. So the moment I have increased my download and upload speed, it was taking around 43. So the uh, execution time got increased or uh, decreased now. And then 15,000, 9,000, 31. Then 20,000, 23. Then 23,000, 11,000, 20. Then 30,000, 15,000, 16. Then 40, then 20, 12. Then 50,000, 20. It means around 50 Mbps and 20 Mbps speed is really good within 10 seconds. And then 75,000, 7 seconds and then around 100 uh, Mbps. It's around one okay, gigabyte, one Gbps. It's to, it took around only six Mbps, okay, six seconds. And then when your condition was zero, it means no latency, nothing. Whatever the default uh, network that you have, it was around within two seconds, it got executed, right? So this is the result, guys. Right? This is something really good, really cool options available. And you can also, I'll do it. I'll show you once again. Let's see for uh, last three set of data. If you really want to, uh, uh, okay, see it again. I'll do one thing. Let me comment uh, these three guys. Okay, and we will exit only with 75 Mbps. This is which is a quite uh, good uh, network bandwidth. And let's run it again. So you see that yeah. So Facebook is getting launched, which is quite okay. So, yep, yeah, it is showing this and then it's still executing. So, let's see. I know that I cannot show you all, okay, all the conditions in the same video because it's unnecessary, it will take time and then the video length will be unnecessary too much. So, now see, the first one, 75,000 is done. Now, this is the second set with uh, 100,000 or 100 k kbps. So, let's see. See, it is just quite done, good. And then this is the third one, zero, zero. It means default one, immediately it got opened and then done. And you see the results. So for, yeah, for three test cases got passed, you can see that 75,000, 10,000, I mean, 100,000 and zero, zero. Zero, zero means no network conditions. And simple, it took around 21 seconds, the first set, second set, 15 seconds, and the last set only four seconds. Right, guys? So this is also, you guys can also do it but it's not a regular test case, regular use case. Only whenever it is needed for low bandwidth or a specific uh, network bandwidth, if you really want to test your application that how exactly it is behaving. And sometimes let's see the use case is that in the low uh, network latency, you have to test your application or your mobile application. In that case, uh, what you have to do that, uh, you have to set a different uh, network bandwidth in Google Chrome, and then you have to check it manually. But in Serenium, if you do, if you guys are doing it like this, you can actually through automation also you guys can do it easily without any problem. Okay, so Selenium will behave accordingly like this, right? So this is something really, really good. I liked it, but it's not a regular use case. But it's good to know that yeah, something like this also we can do it. Okay, in with Selenium. So that's all I wanted to cover this topic in this particular video, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And please press the bell icon because uh, whenever I upload a new video, you should be notified immediately. So you should not miss any new video because a lot of new things are coming on my channel. So please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.